Welcome to our kitchen. What are we making today, Charlotte? Oatmeal chocolate chip cookies. Yeah, and who came up with this recipe? I did. Yes, this is Charlotte's first recipe, and we're so excited to share with you, right, Charlotte? Awesome. Okay, so it's really easy, except for the oats and the chocolate chips, just add everything to your bowl right now. All right, now Charlotte's gonna show you how she cracks the egg. So she just taps it on the side of the bowl until it slightly breaks, you hear that little break sound. And then she's gonna put her thumbs in the breaking part and just kind of pull it apart. Can you crack a little more, yeah, sure. Nice job, Charlotte. And you just put the eggshell with all your dirty dishes and go wash your hands, that's always a great step. While she's doing that, I'm going to start whisking, so we're gonna whisk all these ingredients together. All right, and once it is all nicely whisked, you can add your oats and your chocolate chips. We don't have regular chocolate chips, we have like caramel. Yes, we have some special caramel chocolate chips. You can use whatever you like. A lot of times we use dark chocolate. These are like dark chocolate caramel ones, but whatever your family's favorite is. And our oats are gluten free. You can use whatever oats you want, as long as you want to make sure that they're old fashioned oats. They just cook at the same time that way. Mix it. And then you can mix at home. And if it's getting a little stuck with the whisk, you can just use a wooden spoon. Do you want to use the wooden spoon? All right, so our next step is we're going to take, uh, we have a tablespoon cookie scoop, but if you have a bigger one, that's fine too. We're gonna do two tablespoons worth of the oat mixture and put it in a pile. So I'm gonna actually make some more room for you so we can show our friends at home what we're doing. There you go. And so we just kind of squeeze it out and then we're gonna put another scoop on top of it. So why don't you do that now? And if you don't have a cookie scoop, that's totally fine. You could even just use your um, spoon like this and just make the sizes that you want. And it's okay if it looks like it's falling apart. It will cook together. So you just wanna make sure at the end that it's in a cookie shape. Sure, yeah, you wanna keep going and I'll make them into cookie shapes. Okay, so hopefully you have your cookie mounds ready. Um, Charlotte and I just washed our hands because they got a little dirty and remember this does have raw egg on it, so we wanna make sure we wash our hands afterwards. Now is where you need to get an adult's help. We're going to put these in the oven. Hopefully you already preheated it to 350 degrees. If not, that's fine. Just wait until your oven's ready. And then we're gonna bake them for 10 to 12 minutes until the edges are lightly brown. And we'll see you back in a little bit to see what our cookies look like at the end. Ready? All right, see you soon. Bye. Welcome back. So ours took 10 minutes to cook. Hopefully yours are nice and golden brown and you wanna definitely make sure that you let them cool or else they're just gonna fall apart and also they may burn your mouth, we don't want that. So we let ours cool, right? And now we are all ready to taste test Charlotte's cookie. Um, we hope that you enjoyed making them with us and we'd love to see how yours turned out, what you thought about them, or even if you have an idea for a future recipe, we'd love to hear about that. You can just check the description and leave us a note there. So thank you so much for joining us in our kitchen. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Have a great day and we'll see you back next time. How was it? Can I have some?